how do the discovery standards differ and is there really a difference uh, in practice? So this was this is interesting to me. Another thing that, you know, how old were you when you learned about this? But um, there there's technically when you're when you're talking about um, additional non sort of mandatory discovery, you know, we're all used to talking about the garment factors, which are what apply in IPRs. Um, but there's actually technically a different set of factors that apply to PGRs, which are called the Bloomberg factors. Um, they are um, relatively similar, uh, but I think they're they're meant to be that I think discovery is technically slightly broader and more liberal in in PGRs. Um, whether that whether that really happens in practice or not, you know, is another question. But you can't again, you can get yourself into trouble in a PGR by you know applying the wrong factors and analyzing the wrong factors. Um, and there's there's actually a case on, on that where um, the, the board rejected um, a patent, a petitioner was trying to get some additional discovery and the patent owner argued that you know, the petitioner should sort of already be in possession of the evidence that they're asking for, which is a Garmin factor concept. Um, and the board said, you know, no, no, like you're applying the wrong, the wrong standard, you're applying the Garmin factors, not the Bloomberg factors. Um, so there is a series of factors that one steps through and just have to be careful that you're applying the, the right set of factors to the right, the right thing. You might be able to get a little bit more discovery, but again, I mean, discovery is so limited in, in these proceedings already. Um, and, you know, there's so few PGRs that to, I mean, to me, to get a really good handle on what the um, opportunities are for discovery in a PGR is, is tricky. And I, I would not go into a PGR um, you know, if I'm petitioner side, I would not go in expecting that I'm going to get more discovery than I would get in an IPR. As patent owner, you know, maybe I would try for something that I wouldn't try for in an IPR, perhaps. But um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put too much weight on on getting getting more than you would get otherwise, which is generally nothing. <laughs> 